<laughs> yep. I was trying to pretend I was frozen. Gan's too good at it. Sometimes I think he is frozen. Chase, I can see your eyes move, so. I know, but it's, I'm just doing a staring contest, and I just won! Woo! Um, I got new contacts in. Oh. <laughs> Likely no. story. You kind of... You're giving me some uncanny valley. I don't know, it's just like the camera quality, but... Well, that's the second time you said that at the beginning of a podcast. Have I? Yeah, well, you said that to I me like two weeks ago. It's Candy what Valley. Or it's more like a candy, mouth. candy Land Valley. So good. <laughs> so good. I'm gonna Man, honestly. Was he? I'm gonna leave it in. I'm gonna leave the first part in of the last recording and just if you guys don't know, we spent like probably an hour of just technical difficulties. They probably won't know because they weren't a part of it. You're only seeing this after we cleaned up the mess. Yeah, that's that clean. clean there. Let's not beat around the bush. There was no technical difficulties. We you were want us to all go beat up bush. Shut. <laughs> Please, <laughs> he did nine eleven. Anyways, uh, that was hypothetical. Obviously, please, CIA, FBI, do not. No, it's legitimate. It's a joke. It's a joke. It's not a joke. It's, a joke. it's real. It's real. It's a joke. He fucking did it. Freedom of speech. Except, yeah, whatever. <laughs> Let's not beat around the bush, though. We were all simultaneously uh, attacked by goblins that snuck through our windows. And we had to fight them off. It's kind of going back to our kindergarten topic from last week. Could we beat up kindergartners? And we put it to the test. We were beating up goblins. You guys were beating the goblins up? You were, too, Adrian. Don't try and... Don't oh, try to hide feet. it. Sticking the little gap in the feet. You can say that, but I mean, we saw, I saw it on the camera, and you said that you could beat up, like, however many kindergartners, 50. Like, you got to good, 10 until they started 40, licking your 45. feet. Good. Uh, yeah, you, said, you said 45, and then you let 10 goblins lick your feet. Suck my toes? What yes. What am I going to do? Tell them no. About fight them off. What are you talking about? They're goblins and they're sucking my toes. Are you gonna fight that off? I fought them off. I did. What are you talking about? I didn't. I enjoyed it. Gannon Gannon killed over a hundred, so he's he had a lot of cleaning oh. up to do. That's why he, <laughs> that's why we're <laughs> Gan can get a good. I'm going back. I'm standing. I'm standing on business on what I said. Gan could take out like a good 60, 65 kindergartners. Yeah, they actually call me cheap like, now. Starts getting, like, I'm telling you, you the kindergartners or the or the goblins? Both. Oh, okay. <laughs> he's the ruler of the playground, and he's the ruler of the goblin army. You can't really beat that duality. Mm-hmm. I was about to. What was the what was the anime Goblin Slayer? Yes, That's and where amazing. they had that like super gross rape scene at the beginning. Well, that's not amazing, but the series is amazing. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Time out. Because I, I I was once told by a coworker that they were like, it's. It's sweet, but it's not for the faint of heart. And I'm like, I like gruesome anime. So he's like, just check it out and then see if you are like still. Mm -hmm. And then I watched that first episode and was like, oh, this is terrible. Yeah. But then, but I think it honestly adds to the fuel of why he hates goblins so much. Well, yeah, you need to have the motive. It's you a know. sick series. Yeah. It's sweet. That's why like Attack on Titan yeah, so gruesome. Like, I feel like you need to have that justified for Aaron to do what he did. Still not justifiable, but... You knew that with the end of the Yeah, you season. you saw the rumbling, right? Was that season... Three? It's season four. It's, you know, Which part in the middle. I only got, like... We got to, like, right when... It was at the end of season Sasha. four. 
Spoilers. It's crazy how I've seen more Attack on Titan than you, Adrian. Wait, you've only gotten up to where Sasha got... Blippity plopped, yeah. Oh, so you didn't see the rumbling. No. This is why I keep telling you, stop talking about it. No, Adrian, it's your fault. It's been out for like two it's years. It's not my fault. It's yeah, been out for two years. I had Demon Slayer. I started watching Jujutsu Kaisen. You have two things. years. You had two mangas. years to watch it. I, I'm I'm making Sarah watch One Piece. Like you know. You had two years to watch it. I got yeah. Apple TV. I started watching Shrinking and Ted Lasso. You had two years to watch it. You know what's really good? Invincible. What? I haven't watched it. Oh, <laughs> Sarah's home. I could start. That's insane. Invincible is so good. It's really Invincible good. Invincible is so good. Super good. I yeah, can't wait for season three of the boys. Amazing. Season four, I thought. Season four? Yeah. I think it's season four, yeah. Whatever the new season's coming out. I can't wait for that. The producer for Invincible, I saw this thing where he's really trying to make it so that it's a, uh, each year he drops a season. But he's like, it's difficult with getting all those, like, you know, like, Yoon. Is that his name? Yoon? Like, all these big Yoon. name, yeah, mm-hmm. like, J.K. Simmons and... All these big name actors, all in like one area, to try to get them to record and everything mm-hmm. like that. But you know, I'm worth it for the quality. It's been like two years since mm-hmm. the last one. Worth it. They need to just pull a mappa and just lock all the voice actors in a room for like two years and never yeah. let them see I their family. I thought more voice actors were transitioning to like recording at home and just sending the recordings to the studio yeah that's it was more of a joke they're not actually treating the voice actors bad it's the animators that they're treating bad but oh yeah that's right but most animators too i think can work from home but i don't know yeah i know because i know i saw um a video of uh the voice actor for beast boy from teen titans it was like the TikToker who does like the home tours, of like yeah, people with crazy homes or whatever. And he's just like yes. sitting outside on his balcony, just yeah. waiting. Like in, to he talk said to like the studio like sent a, like a little recording booth for him to like record at home. I figured like yeah. a lot of voice actors would transition. And animators really could just work from, from home too. What are you gonna drive to go sit at a computer and animate and then drive home? Well, I think animation home. is actually probably a lot more collaborative than what we think because just the way i see like some of the storyboards of some of these projects man they gotta coordinate you know well at the same time there's a a guy who's single-handedly making the entire pokemon region by like one pokemon a day but he's he's not animating anything he's but that is honestly it's impressive it is super like, impressive that he is like drawing these like almost every day. Almost, it's like yeah. I don't have the time to do. His that. latest one was so sick. I tried to watch it. I tried to watch it a couple times. I commented on it too, and I just never got through the whole video. The, the, his latest one was so sick. Yeah. Um, the offer still stands. I've been commenting on his videos as myself and as the podcast, trying to get him on. To just talk to him. Like, how is he doing it? Like, what is he doing? And I think it'd just be cool to have somebody like that on. And he's doing charities? Doing charities? Dude, he is uh, catching them all. He's him, Jones. Yeah. I caught them all once. Then my doctor gave me seven months to live. As he gets a dab pen. Hey, you got to go. I mean, if you got seven months to live, are you going to just be very cautious about your health or are you just going to blow through it? I mean, you got seven months. I think you would be cautious because I I would want to, like, preserve them. You know, like, I would want to, like, like, if the doctor's like, you got 10 months to live, I'd be like, all right, cool. I'm going to give myself. Well, I feel like it's like everybody kind of puts a due date on your life then. It's like, oh, people are expecting you to die. If you go out a little sooner, it was, it's, becomes kind of unexpected after it already being kind of unexpected. Going straight to Chili's. (laughs) (laughs) Come on, dude. We're 
fucking waiting. <laughs> Still hasn't. I'm not making jokes today. Mm-hmm. Well, I want to invite you another episode of yeah, yeah, that's what podcast. we're waiting on, Adrian. Oh, I forgot because we, we always get so lost in these code. And code my intros. name is. Uh, I'm joined in our virtual studio today with uh, two of my best shh, buds. Shh, shh, let me do it. Let me do it. Let me do it. <clears throat> Sorry, we have difficulties. Fuck yourselves. As he, hit the wee, as he hit the <laughs> yeah, wee pen, so he really just like... lost all consciousness. He's just like. No, I just, like I said, we get so, like, everywhere with the cold intros, I almost forget about the intros sometimes. Why do they call I think it a it's flying more fish a... when it technically swims? Flying fish don't technically fly. Anyways, hello everyone, welcome to another episode of the Something Original Podcast. Today, in our virtual studio, I am joined with two assholes. My name is Adrian. Who has two assholes? Sounds like a health concern but i'm chase <laughs> and i'm tweedledum <laughs> welcome back guys uh like we said in the warm opening you know it wasn't really cold it was more warm it's more room temp yeah room temp yeah warm uh we had some technical difficulties and uh we are just chugging along um how are you guys how are you guys feeling <laughs> Uh, doing, doing real good. Good. Just busy. My whole week is insane. And it's Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. By the way. Yeah. Happy uh, colonizer week. You know what I, mean? I was about to say, do you guys do you guys celebrate? I, do. I don't celebrate for the reason of, you know, the history. I just mm-hmm. celebrate it because you know family getting together, having a good time. That's how I feel about Christmas. Also, I love Christmas. Christmas. Well, it's like, but it's like, holiday. it's like Christmas is tied to Christianity. Not to step on any toes, but I'm not a Christian, so do like I feel no, kind of chase. weird, huh? You said you're not a Christian. No, you're Chase. Your name's not Christian. I'm going to lose my goddamn marbles. Anyways, but I, but it's like you still celebrate it because that's literally everything, you know. So I kind of like celebrate the family and the friends and the presents and uh, the new year. Uh, but yeah, Thanksgiving, it's a little too far away from celebrating like new year. So you kind of have to be like, you just got to be like, oh yeah, I'm celebrating just like being thankful for everybody. That's the way I look at it. Christmas is probably my, I mean, it's, it's my favorite holiday, but I think it's like, Probably the greatest holiday. Everything about Christmas, other than Mariah Carey's fucking songs, everything about Christmas is amazing. Hey, don't talk shit about Mariah Carey. She honestly, can sing. no. I'm honestly, I'm just tired of hearing it every Christmas. But like, nobody needs you, to, to to replace it. Her game respects game. All right. If you could drop, if you could drop a holiday album and it being relevant for twenty, thirty, I don't know when it came out. However long. And it just becomes the number one. Thing. And she makes like hundreds of millions of dollars on it every single year. Knowing that you're going to have that guarantee, I would do it. What are you talking about? I'm not saying anything about that. I'm just saying like it's hit the point that we've just we've spent enough Christmases going everywhere and hearing. I love you, Christmas. Like, I'm tired of it. I want to hear someone else. Let me, let me hear like fucking throw somebody who could sing at me. Well, well definitely it. not you. Please do see. not put yourself <laughs> on a track. <laughs> yeah, give me a Twenty One Savage Christmas song. No, give me like Alicia Keys. Give me like. You know what? No, who Alicia I Keys. Car to keep it up. Let Lauren Hill make like a Christmas <laughs> Christmas album. You know who I who I thought had the best Christmas album? Who wasn't Mariah Carey? Who Mark Chan- um, Chance the Rapper and uh, Jeremiah. I just feel like Jeremiah would sing too much about fucking, and that's not just... That's not well, fair. yeah, but it's very, like, I mean, innuendo type beat. No. Snowden. Michael, don't Michael make Bublé? Christmas sexual. <laughs> Michael Bublé is... Michael Bublé. He's good, yeah. Is Michael, Michael Bolton still alive? I, I actually hate Christmas music. 
So do I, but it's just... And it even sucks now that it starts right after Halloween. The day after. I remember growing mm-hmm. up, it was the day for Thanksgiving. But you guys that was the simmer. Yeah, that was the unspoken rule. You don't skip Thanksgiving. You start it. But now we're just like... It was like even before Halloween, all that Christmas stuff started coming out. I went to Target. They already had like the Christmas trees and everything. Oh, yeah. And I'm like, I'm getting the Halloween costume. What are you talking about? That capitalism goes crazy. It is. Dude, dude. Like it was, it was like November second, November third, something like that. We went into PetSmart to get a dog food. All of their Christmas shit's already out. Yeah, I, I forgot what I was gonna say. <laughs> oh, the uh, Black Friday sales. They started like super early too. Black Friday sales aren't even at this point. It's starting to not feel like sales. Like, no. When, yeah. I just watched somebody talk about this on TikTok. Like, um. What was his name? Christian. He was talking about how, like, before it used to be, like, get a TV for, like, 87% off. Now it's, like, 11%, like, 20%, yeah. which is still a deal. And, and even then, what, what they the do is they price raise the price of it a month in advance, and then they just mm-hmm. lower it back down to the regular price mm-hmm. when it comes to the day of Black Friday. I well, think I'm a, I'm like a Cyber Monday kind thing. of guy. You'll, you'll catch me on the interwebs. I'm not going anywhere for Black Friday. I'm... I'm Cyber going Monday, Cyber right? Mon- Monday. Wait, is that today? No, it's, no, Monday. Cyber Monday it's is the next. Monday after yeah. Thanksgiving. But Cyber oh, Monday man. usually also starts on Black Friday, which is pretty cool. Like mm-hmm. Amazon, I know. Fuck Amazon. But they'll hey, they start. Can, they, they take my money. I don't want it's to, a, but... It's almost like a necessity, you know? Yeah. It's almost like you kind of have to use Amazon for certain things. If you go, like, local, you're waiting, like five days for it to ship uh it's usually more expensive that's the thing with amazon they undercut a lot of the prices to drive out all the small businesses and then they raise it up once they're all gone there's they're selling mandalorian funkos for like three bucks last year funkos i might don't let me have money look it up dude you will blow it'll blow your mind if you look up funkos on cyber monday it's like bro what they're selling them for like mine are still in a bin. Steals, yeah, really. No, um, but I—that's why I advocate for like people who like live near their family and stuff to just say fuck Amazon, just like just go buy your shit and wrap it like yourself. But where are you? Where are you gonna go then? Are you gonna go to Walmart or Best Buy or the mall? I was gonna. T- I was gonna say. Just go to the mall. Like the mall still has places. But you that's can get. still those are all still big name companies, you know. Yeah, but you're not going. You can't to beat them. Join them. You know. You can't beat them. For me, them. it sucks because I have to use Amazon for convenience because I'm on the other side of the country. The only person I can get gifts for. Oh, you Amazon have to. Sarah, her family, my sister. But like, pretty sure almost every retail store has online. Shipping. I think if you went to the post office the day after or a couple days after this event went there mailed it (laughs) then you'd be straight it'd be there by christmas but now i'm risking my shit not getting there maybe not getting there on time because it's a very very busy time the shit being broken even though amazon drivers are a month much more careful you know what i just if, if you know what I just after a month in advance. <laughs> well, that's what they say though. They say it's like hectic, you know. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Is there a ghost there? We... But Amazon, they just hire a shit ton more drivers during this time, and then. I I yeah. saw the post office. They they're promoting like shipping with USPS, and I'm like, why are you doing that to yourself? You already know you're gonna be super busy. Like, why are you promoting that? just don't make sense yeah and you still get paid the same because it's a corporate thing and corporate doesn't care that it's busy they want it to be busier because they'll make more money yeah it's all about the money with these people why can't i just have health (laughs) care oh speaking of nightmare 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 uh did you see that united healthcare has a new ai algorithm that is made solely to deny people coverage and it has a 90% success rate. 90% success rate is pretty good. 
No, it's bad. It's ninety percent successful at denying you health coverage. Oh. Yeah. Well, I would say that's a fail. Why was that even like? That's what's so annoying. Like, never mind. We're not gonna get to, get into this. <laughs> it's just like, let me just have health care. Let me. I'm already paying into. I'm I'm spending hundreds of dollars every month paying this insurance company just so I can have enough built up so whenever I get sick or have need to go to the emergency room I have that but then it always costs me like twenty thousand dollars extra see this is why I think whoever may or may not be up there that I have the VA health care which is not like actual health insurance but I don't have to get health insurance because even if I have to go to the hospital and whatever, I could take that bill to the VA and they'll just pay it. I heard it's not great though. Still, I remember my mm -hmm. grandpa always <laughs> getting. The thing is, no, the VA is really up and up in a tussy a about it. I mean, there's a lot of things the VA can do to better at this to be better at this very moment. But they've there's been a lot of steps in the right direction. Like I've got almost everything basically free. I think except dental VA insurance really benefits honestly like your spouse and your kids because mm -hmm. you still mm -hmm. get that health care I was talking about my buddies that I go to school with and uh, he was telling me because he's in the Navy and he was like he's like the insurance is decent for like yourself but you also that insurance also carries over to like your wife or you know husband and um like your children too about, which i think i think it's pretty cool mm -hmm. you it's have it like, too right man huh you have it too right i need to sign up for it i know i do or i i think i do because you need at least 60 percent. so no i have 50 and i have 50. really and you like yeah. you for sure signed up i have i've signed up i have my id i have really ID visit with my doctor already before okay too. he was telling me that you need at least 60 percent 60 percent what disability oh you need at least like 10 percent, i think to start i have all like the stuff i can i can like oh, send you right. of it but i think it's you need, like at 10 percent, you get a certain level of benefits and then 20 30 and i think after 30 you start getting just like basically f almost full like the only things I don't get covered for is obviously like gynecology and uh, feminine care. Why not? Dental. Yeah, why not? I don't. I'm. I don't have any feminine parts. <laughs> sure about that. Do you sure about Survey that? says. Chase, I will send you a picture of my dick. Soaked <laughs> up too. Don't. Lathered up. Okay, we heard it here first, podcast listeners. Adrian's a creep. But yeah, no, like I've got, like if I'm, I need to make the appointment, I can make an appointment with a optometry. I can get my eyes checked again, and I think I can get frames for a decent price too. Except or what you do is you take your trucks. free. What you do is you take your free. You have to pay some money, but I know a place where you can take your prescription, put it in, and you pay like thirty-five bucks, and you get another pair of glasses for free. And it'd be like the exact frames you want if you were down like that. I'd have to call to see how much. Because I know I went after I signed up and everything. I went for, um, I was having like breathing issues. I was like wheezing for like two weeks. And it was like not normal. And we did like a lung test and everything. And I got my, I got my inhaler shipped to me free. Didn't have to pay anything. Do you know when you drug test with an inhaler, uh, you get traces of heroin in your system? They can't get me for traces of heroin if it's all heroin. Well, yeah. Yeah. I just heard about an NFL player that had to use an inhaler and he had asthma really bad. Mm -hmm. And he got drug tested and they saw heroin in his system and he just using an inhaler and he tried to get it cleared with the NFL and the NFL still suspended him. That's crazy. I just learned Mark Andrews has a 
Diabetes. Type one di diabetes. Type one's the genetic one, right? I think so. Dude, diabetes is like my worst fear. That and uh Well if you don't blood. have family history and you you're moderately healthy, you're not really at risk. Yeah. I mean, you uh, might still be at kind of risk, but yeah, I mean at risk it's just yeah, it happens. My my family is like all pre diabetic. So mm -hmm. they get like the type two type B. Speaking of not fun. Yeah, I was gonna say let's talk about some more not fun stuff. <laughs> Did you guys hear about this dream and gumball situation? Hilarious. So funny. Gannon, mean? have you heard about this? Mm -mm. Alright, I'll break it down for you. So the guy who the uh Noah Cantu, I think is his name is his yeah. name. The He's voice the actor voice for Gumball. From the Amazing World of Gumball on Cartoon Network. Um, I guess him and Dream, popular Minecraft streamer, were like would hang. I guess were friends or whatever. I don't they know. were friends. They would hang out. Yeah. And he called Dream out for being like a groomer, or pedophile, whatever. And so Dream's response was to post a video of Noah underage, drunk, in the front of an Uber while he's sitting in the back seat, and he's like, "Here's Noah." being homophobic and this and that and blah 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 and i don't know everything about the situation i saw things people were saying like noah has like bipolar like depression disorder and um might be like autistic too or something like that mm -hmm. or like um neurodivergent yeah and good um, movie so i don't i don't know if any of that's true or not i don't know really know much so if anybody's gonna be in the comments clarifying, thank you. I don't know much, but it's just like, how do, how, how are you gonna try to beat your groomer chart like accusation by posting an underage drunk person? Yeah, in an Uber, which is uh, responsible. Like if he was driving drunk, that'd be one thing. And like, well, all of Dream's fran fans try to defend it, saying Dream didn't invite him to the party, blah blah blah. He's not responsible for him. You're still like. You're not doing anything to stop this underage person from drinking. You're condoning it by hanging out with them and drinking with them, even if you didn't invite them, even if you didn't physically give them drinks. I think condoning the point Dream was making in the video, uh, the voice actor for Gumball, I can't think of his name. Uh, he was saying a bunch of homophobic, misogynistic, and like uh, anti-Semitic stuff. Like he was just, he was just throwing slur after slur after slur so it was like dream's way of trying to get him canceled but like you were saying he was under the age he was shit-faced he was fucked you can and hear yeah and he fucked. was and he's like what he said wasn't right but like, no no not at all not condoning it. but neither is touching kids yeah and then and that's the yeah thing. that's when they come back and they're like dream you were you're being like accused of like grooming and like having a relationship even with like underage kids like you're not be you're not clear your name how you think See, you are grown men playing minecraft is sus it's so crazy every single minecraft streamer on a large scale and you being a streamer with a discord is weird i've played minecraft a couple times like me and jay played we like just had a world and we ran around for like a couple days did some shit that never touched it again no i'm not saying like people who play minecraft i played minecraft and i'm not okay, a fucking about child predator <laughs> But ain't that bad. it's like every single well-known like YouTube Minecraft streamer has been accused of set, like uh, uh, relations with minors and like uh, yeah. grooming and all that. See, and Dreams Lair is like a multi-layer of you're a fucking idiot because like one you got accused of this, so instead of addressing it, you just try to what like. Throw somebody else under the bus. Yeah, like you try to just throw, project the blame, or not the blame, but you more, project. Which the makes you more guilty, honestly. Else. Yeah, you're not yeah. even gonna address it, and also, you're just sitting on this video, waiting to wait. Like, it was essentially like, it was blackmail. Like, yeah, that was like quick. That he was just like, okay, here's a video that I got of you. Like, really? Like, mm -hmm. and they're supposed to be friends. I would never do that to any of my friends. Yeah, and like well, Gan yeah. had a spat before. 
I still never did did that, and I'm pretty sure I had some. Oh, I, I have some black men. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> like, but like, even I didn't do that when we had that spat, and I was wrongfully mad at him. So like, that's just fucked up that you would do that to your friend. Yeah, it's super, um, super Ako Taco, and he just still hasn't addressed um, the accusations. The accusations. No. He he's more leaning into it. He posted something on his like Instagram or something with like a Minecraft shirt of like the Minecraft character saying, "I love miners." Why would you? Why would you do that? That is the last thing you you ever. Post. The shirt and the joke would hit and be funny if you had irrefutable proof that all of these accusations are false. Then it would yeah. be taking shots at somebody wrongfully accusing you. But you're not even addressing the accusations, and then you're trying to lean into it like it's a joke. You're fucking stupid. God. And he did this whole face reveal, people are saying, uh, because the most he, like... face reveal Oh, ever. my God. It was, like, the worst reaction you could have possibly hey ever guys, asked I'm for. Dream. It's like, dude, if I saw you at Walmart, I'd just think you were a ner normal Joe. Like, there's nothing... Yeah. <laughs> there's nothing special there's the whole about... spectacle... Yeah. You just look like. But people are saying he did that so he could, like. Because he makes music, I guess, too. So cringe. It is so cringe. And he performs to a primarily underage female audience. And he, they, they, people are saying he did the face reveal is to, like, get more engagement with the female underage audience speculation but i mean it it's seeming like it's uh correlating in that respect see i always think if you're not on like a blues clues wiggles type beat and like most of your audience is a kid is kids like 90 percent at least like it's a little weird like if you're not the wiggles you shouldn't have this large of a children audience mm -hmm. logan paul his kid, his audience is all ten year old. <laughs> it is so, so bad. I love Logan Paul. You know how, how bad it's gotten. I'm not gonna say bad, but like just how stupid wrestling in WWE is getting. Could Logan Paul is the United States champion in the WWE right now. He beat uh -huh. Rey Mysterio. I think I've seen Saudi this. Arabia. Like, are you kidding me? Like, I will say, as a fucking, as much as I despise Logan Paul, his, his athletic ability and his ability to work in the ring is great, and he does put dedication into that. But, like, there are so many people on, like, the Where's internet the hangout that, button? that do Where? justice <laughs> as much as he does <laughs> in the ring or can do what he does in the ring. Like, what, like of a, all people, Logan Paul. is annoying. He's, like, a giant 13-year-old. He's so uh, childish about everything he does. Him and his brother are ruining boxing. He's ruining They're ruining WWE. the great name of Ohio, too, is what we really should be talking about. But Honestly. We already have a random bad rep. Oh, by the way, Ohio State, Michigan next weekend. Boop, 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 boop. It's going to be yeah, a good one. Watching party at the uh, Inglewood Parlor. If you also want to cut... Um... You have to pay only full price. Yeah, I'll be there. I'll be there. <laughs> I'm taking the old uh, Lamborghinis, the old Shubarus over there. I wish we could go because it is like Thanksgiving weekend. and But yeah, it's just travel would be fucking dummy. I'm going to be traveling with the old Toyotas. Anyways, speaking of uh, uh, bad people, uh, have you heard of the Matt Rife? Matt Rife. Rife. Matt Rife. Okay. Uh, he just he just actually like, I was just watching TikToks about this, and I I get why I have no idea what the beef is. We're mad at the. So he made he just had his comedy special, his first one on Netflix. On Me Netflix. and Sarah actually watched it, um, and like one of his opening jokes, he was talking about. Waffle House, and he was talking about how he went to one, and um, the like hostess had a black eye, 
and like he was saying his friend was like oh you know like you know that they like poor girl like they should put her in the kitchen so she doesn't feel embarrassed whatever and matt rife then makes the joke on stage where he's like yeah but if they put her in the kitchen like she'd probably have that black eye for a reason or some shit like that basically like a kind of like a hitting woman for not cooking oh, misogynistic joke. joke and i get why people would be mad at it because it's a little insensitive not a little it is insensitive but it's also one of those things where it's like it's comedy it's dark humor he's, like, he's joking like, well there's a line between funny dark humor and just being bad you know like that's the thing i love dark humor i can respect it uh I think Chris D'Elia is one of the best, like, dark humor comedians. We I'm sure there are other ones. Name. We huh? mention his name. No, no. Why? Oh, you didn't hear about Chris D'Elia? What? He's like Dream. Oh, fuck. Well, never mind. Which is funny, because in the show You, he plays... He played a child predator. Yes, I know. Yeah. I know. And in, and in Workaholics. He played it in... Yeah, that's right. There, too? That's right. Yeah, that episode what was the fuck. God, that episode was funny. No, I can't watch that. All right, never mind. Scratch what I said. <laughs> there are dark humor comics that know how to like craft a joke and make it funny. Most and still celebrities have that are though. So Louis I mean... C.K. does dark humor, right? Who? Lu- Louis C.K. Well, he also has allegations. He fucking, like, sexually harassed somebody. <laughs> every, every single celebrity, you, that, they just haven't got caught. Dave Chappelle? Dave Chappelle. Transphobic, I guess. Yeah, there's comedians who do dark humor. Um, there are comedians that can do dark humor, is what I'm saying. Dark humor can be very who's... funny if they do the joke right. Most comedians who are like oh you're getting upset because you can't handle dark humor they just didn't do the joke right they just didn't yeah. c- cultivate it the dark humor the insensitive shane gillis. part shane gillis, shane gillis is yes. perfect for dark yeah. humor that is a good one so and he doesn't funny. have any allegations yet the, so we are the other guy on tiktok um i know he's like half white or half black um the ovon is really good crap no not the ovon yeah the um, ovon for sure Oh, Theo Vaughn is a good dark humor one, too. Mm-hmm. He, um, but that's the thing. It's just, like, people, the reason why people get upset about, like, certain jokes, dark humor jokes, it's because they don't make the joke, they don't set up the joke right. So, the whole punchline of the joke is the dark bit of the joke, but they don't do the groundwork to make it like funny enough to kind of over overcome that hump people just run straight into the hump and then they're like oh you guys didn't find my joke funny yeah that's my biggest gripe but going back to matt rife he um he said before he was like his his audience is primarily like female you know and he said in like a podcast he was like i i don't like that my audience is majority female like i only have like a female audience so he wanted to start pushing that away and then what's the big thing is like in his new special he made like a misogynistic joke he's trying to push him away but then he doesn't have another audience to fall back on because he doesn't have a male audience you know so he's just shooting himself in the foot it's just bad it's just bad marketing you know well, first off, the comedian I was thinking about, Troy Bond. I don't know if you've seen him on TikTok. He does some, like, good... Oh, 007? He made a couple... I knew you were going to fucking do that. I was hoping you didn't. <laughs> but, um, I... Basically, Skyfall. like... I get... <laughs> I get what Matt Reif was, like, aiming for. Like, he was aiming to... He wasn't aiming to devalue women or, like... No. Say anything about domestic violence or like and he, i don't think he was trying to be misogynistic i just think he tried to do dark humor and it wasn't wasn't that good. good it was it was a more sensitive topic especially with the state of like you know more women being harassed and attacked assaulted nightmare 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 so you know 
he just he just didn't do it right and it, it backfired not even a hot take he's not a funny comedian he just does really good he's crowd okay. work no he just he's does really crowd. good crowd work but his yeah. actual have you listened to like any of his actual jokes they're not good i watched his whole stand-up like i didn't watch it like stare at it the whole time i was on my phone but like it was okay some of the jokes were funny but it wasn't like a mm-hmm. it wasn't like shane gillis is where like 10 minutes in i had like tears in my fucking eyes yeah. you want to stand up both of them on netflix had me crying legitimately the Yovana is hilarious that dude one is of the so most funny one of the most slept on stand-up comedians is daniel tosh i used to watch his both of his stand-up routines on youtube so funny anthony jeselnik he does great dark humor that is Jeselnik's really good dark humor he sets it up because it's obviously a joke he just goes so far beyond it to where it's like deadpan, not even grounded in reality. His like deadpan face, like and he'll do like the slight smile and the way he says it, it's just like I don't know, it works. Anthony Jeswick is hilarious. I love yeah. stand ups. I gotta look up if he has any allegations, because if he does, shit. I think he does. But it's well I mean he's still ma- I mean he's obviously I'm sure he's addressed it, but it's just why is every famous, likable person that have to always end up being like a piece of shit? Because that's what they gotta do to become famous. Is that like a ritual? Uh, yeah. You can join the real Illuminati if you want. You see Sam Smith's shirt? Have you heard oh, about that? Who's that? Did you hear Sam, about that? On, before we talk about that, Anthony Jeselnik doesn't have. Anthony Jeselnik doesn't have any allegations. Awesome. They were probably just wife. in 2022. Kanye was just wife. To get canceled for his jokes. Just hilarious. Okay, what were we saying again? Sam Smith. Uh, yeah, who's Sam, Sam Smith? Smith? The, wait, who's the singer? Um, wait, is that his name? The sing- Oh, the the singer. Yeah. yeah. Where he has that the, his name? Yeah. Okay. Is that his name? Or the shoe <laughs> brand? I don't know. No, Sam Smith. <laughs> uh, an outlet store. Is that the? He came out as gay a little while ago, right? I don't think it was a little. He's while been. Ago, he's been. Oh, he's while. been out. Yeah. Hold on, okay. Let me play. Because I know. Don't play any music. Play. I don't want to hear it. Yeah, don't put you on just, that trash. He's no. He's just been playing music the whole fucking time before we started. I'm we just were just like, have, we were having a vibe. You were having a vibe. You were just we're blasting fighting. the music in my you ears and i was like god damn it i had my earbuds you never said and i joined the first time and i'm like dude what is going on my ears got blasted I was setting up a vibe i was listening to music i like music i like listening to music all the time well, yeah, everyone right. does okay yeah everybody yeah. does but now is not the time he had a shirt Grandma. that had that had <laughs> blue and he had a shirt that had blue and white stripes right and america a, and a oh. child on it like licking like uh like ice cream or something mm. wow. you know what epstein island's colors were blue and white stripes oh was it blue and white or i thought you said red and blue no blue and white oh. blue and white so is he saying he was at the island was he it, at at the same time, simultaneously wearing this not tasteful Teletubby boots. Legitimately Teletubby. You can look it up. Look it up, Adrian. Look it up, Adrian. Well, actually, you'll probably... Should, you'll I, look should I look it up and put it... You'll have to look it up on TikTok. You probably won't find it online. Come on. Internet has everything. The internet has everything. Speaking of the internet having everything... No, I'm just kidding. Oh, speaking of, like... Pedophilia. Oh, they're legit. Oh. They're legit Teletubby boots. Yeah, they're ugly like, as crap. Wait, can they're I see so... it? Put it on Here, the screen. Me... They're disgusting. I... They don't even look good. It's like it's like the equivalent of Cookie Monster sweatpants. Yeah, but show the shirt too. Make sure you get that in there. Because the main focus. Oh, is... it's eating an apple. It's not looking at ice cream. Okay, tomato, it. tomato. It's a child. It's not loaded. Why does he have a child chi- on. on his shirt? Just let it load for a sec. I'm sure. It... Yeah, I got it. Yeah. 
There's, uh, um, where is it? There, there's the boots. Oh, what right the side. fuck? That is not fashion. <laughs> I thought you were like just saying they were like the boots the Teletubbies wore. I didn't no. know they were like high that's heels. What I was <laughs> yeah, that's what I was thinking. He thought he ate. Like the kid with the ice cream. Bum bum bum. If, the, if he picked the blue Teletubby, it would go. It worked a little bit more. <laughs> Do you like wear this at a show? No, I think it was just a TikTok video. What the fuck? But the shirt. Mm -hmm. The shirt, yes, yes. I think he wore the Teletubby boots to be like, ew, why is he wearing that? Yeah. I'm not do, saying I'm do the you most guys... fashionable guy, but that is, those are ugly. <laughs> those are so bad. They they were bad. And then the shirt but on top of it is like, As bad as the Astro Boy. It doesn't boots. match. <laughs> those are bad. Uh, did you guys do you guys remember when Balenciaga did that ad campaign, that marketing yeah. campaign with the kids like dressed up in like BDSM so insane, stuff? Or they're holding dude. dolls that had the BDSM. If you're famous, pretty much you've got some kind of history with weird stuff. I haven't worn the Balenciagas that I got from Gan since that ad came out. Did you also see they're selling a fucking towel for a thousand dollars? It's a towel oh, no. skirt. It's a towel skirt. You wear it as a skirt. And then IKEA made fun of them. They recreated that same like ad, and it's just like an IKEA towel, <laughs> and it's like the worker dressed up the same way as the model was, and it just <laughs> said the price next to it was sixteen dollars. <laughs> we'll just buy it. Still for a towel is outrageous. <laughs> yeah, it's sixteen dollars for a towel skirt. I could wear this towel skirt for sixteen dollars. Okay, but who's gonna wear that as a skirt? I will. Honestly, yeah, getting going. high quality towels, it's it's a good it's a good investment. I think high I spent like sheets. I think I spent like thirty on a pack of like nice towels. It was good. yeah. I spent like well, we've had these the towels for a while. I spent like I spent like a good twenty twenty five for a pack mm -hmm. like three towels. If you aren't dropping a mortgage on your bed sheets, though, rethink your uh, whole. I hate to say it, but life. Amazon has some good silk sheets. No, that's where I got mine. I'm not even. I, I was kidding about the mortgage, but it was like these are high yeah. quality sheets. Yeah. No, yeah, I got silk. We got silk sheets. We got uh, shredded microfiber pillows. Silk, uh, silk pillowcases. Do you guys like bathe in? Oh, I have a mattress topper too, but I like bathe yeah, in my sweat too. at night now. Why don't you just turn on the AC? I'm not made of money, Adrian. Jeez. First off, is it cold in Colorado? Colorado? I know yeah. the low was cold. just like in the 30s. No, it's cold, and I still am like drowning. And it's just like when you're like sucked into the bed, like you're seeping down in there. You know, you're just like pulling up with sweat. And it's just you wake well, up, you, wake up in the middle of the night, I think and you naturally like sweat in your sleep. Which also your blanket might be a little too thick. I don't know what poor, kind of blanket. Poor Shiloh, use. she does it too. <laughs> Not to throw her under the bus, but oh wow, I, just, I do. I do wake a, up. It's a swamp in the Deering household. Well, for me, at least I have a little bit of an excuse because I'll wake up and like Charlie, my dog, is laying across my feet. So like I've got her warmth under her blanket. Like, at a spot that it, like, where you, like, absorb or release heat or whatever. I'm just a hot man. I do run hot. I like my, I like my house freezing. Um, I like time. it a little, I like it a I little think I run, cooler. I guess but... I run cold, because, like, I can let the apartment, like, I can leave the AC off all day. It could be, like, 80 degrees outside. It'll be, like, 78, 79 in here, and, like, I won't feel that. Like, more of like a, I like a yeah. sixty-six kind of guy. It's gotta be as high as I do like, like it cold. seventy-five. I do like it cold, but I like, I like to be I able to like... put a blanket on. Oh yeah, I like we got the big ass living room blanket. I like to throw it on me. Mm. I have it draped around me while we play Elden Ring. How do you guys feel mm. about weighted blankets? Sarah has one. I got one for her. Yeah, I want to get it. one. Don't. Get the um, 
I would suggest if like you and Shyla would end up wanting to use the heavy blanket. I don't suggest getting like the two person ones because I just feel like it's a little unevenly distributed and it'll get annoying with like how people kind of move in their sleep. But just get like the individual. I can send you the link for the one I got. Sarah's had it for like two years. She loves that thing. Okay. It's, I slept with it while she was in Colorado this past weekend and honestly it was. Oh, and pretty... she didn't come visit? What the hell? She was seeing her sister. Why the fuck would she go see you? Or she, her sister is next to where I live, so why not? They're in Fort Collins or like the Wellington. Never mind. Area. They are. We are nowhere near. Oh, we Wellington. But yeah, no, I slept with it, and it's honestly, it, it it'll make you feel a little warmer. So probably don't have like another blanket on top, but like. It's pretty nice to sleep with. It's like a nice, like, warm hug all over your body. Shiloh so. always wants to cuddle when we go to sleep, but then, like, we can't fall asleep cuddling because then she can't fall asleep. So that's annoying. Maybe I can just get the weighted blanket. Well, maybe she can like, go to sleep if you stop poking her in the back. That was an old man you just, joke. You just that, have that to. Was, that was an old man joke. That was a very old man joke. <laughs> that's like, a, like one of those dirty those old man in. jokes. I can sleep if you were poker in the back. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Yeah, 27, old ass. I'm I'm about to hit the big 2-7 soon. I'm about to hit 2-6 next month. What'd you guys get me? This dick. You know what I got you. <laughs> also this dick. <laughs> this dick fix in my inbox. <laughs> All you're gonna hear is bling 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 bling. No, I really do I have, have you something. My body I, I, have you I, something though. Oh, for real? Yeah. I, I wasn't expecting it. anything. Thank you, man. Yeah, I'm looking at. I don't. I, don't, I have to talk to Gan about exactly. Wow, I wasn't expecting anything. What Jeez, you would like sir. to get? No, I was just. I I didn't no, like. I didn't ex- ex- no, I just didn't like think anybody would like get any. I'm just like. I think that's my love language is gift giving to an extent, but. I just, uh, yeah, like, I think that's how I am too. Or acts of uh, service or something. I don't mm-hmm. know. I never understood those because I'm like, I like all these things. I like so, all of these. Well, you can have my favorite. You can have multiple love languages. I remember. Love is like, my language, dog. <laughs> bring it up. But like my ex fiance during our like whole like troublesome time, like sent me that book and I read through like half of it. And like you can have multiple love languages. Just the idea of like trying to put a specific way Mm -hmm. on how you love is detrimental to the concept of love because it's like you're putting me into a box of how you want to categorize how i love but like my love it's more of like a fundamental like idealism yeah like i can love kind of the same way as other people but my way is still going to be different than the next person even if we're like doing some of the same things Mm -hmm. just because everybody's different Felt dog, philosophical. Well, yeah, thanks man. guys for the birthday <laughs> present. I didn't know. Well, I didn't get you anything yet. I gotta, I, I keep, I gotta text Gan and see like, what would be something that you would like. You know, I got you told you. That, dude. No, <laughs> oh, no, dude, you're gonna be at my wedding, dude. Like, how do you well, not I even? Know? I didn't grow up with Chase, so I don't know like everything. Dude, we've been doing the likes. podcast for like nine years. Like, we've been in a group chat know? for like. Ever since we got all the Navy. Yeah. Yeah, but how many times do we make, like, dick jokes? And how many times do we talk about the things we like? There's one. Give me a dick. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just I told you this dick. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I am just kidding. I'm do, do not send Willy. us dicks. I'm going to do a clone of Willie for you. Oh, dude. What, I kind of want to do that for myself. Chase, you... What? Just a quick side note. Yeah. Do you get, like physical copy mangas often i know you re- do online but like sometimes i like to collect them a little bit Dang. okay i'm gonna get you some uh one piece volumes don't do that i will never finish it honestly no if you read through it's a lot faster no just how many volumes are there like a thousand well, only still, right yeah only a thousand and forty three or like five hundred. I'm sure they cut it in half, but well, there's only one thousand something chapters. 
Yeah, only, and then you gotta only. think like maybe like ten chapters in a. In it's a like ten movie. Harry Potters. The thing is that I, I don't. I don't know, let me. I have, let me go on Shonen Jump and look. Shonen Jump. Chase, so I got an answer what? for you. Okay. There's 106 volumes of One Piece. Don't get me. Don't get me up. I'll get I you. That's insane. Just never. The paradise. It. The whole paradise series. That's like ten. That's like ten berserks. That's like. That's insane yeah. to think about. If you about. guys want to give me the berserk deluxe editions, that'd be awesome. But <laughs> have those you are guys? Like, those are like those fifty are... bucks. <laughs> They're sick. Have you guys oh, read that new manga that came out? Oh, the one ago? with the sword guy? Kagurabachi. Yeah! I, read I haven't the read first it yet. Chapter. It's actually kind of long. The first chapter was like, what? 55 pages on Shonen Jump? Yeah. I think just but it's the first one. They pretty interesting. Plan. And there's 10 chapters out right now. So. Yeah, I definitely want to read it because everybody's hyping it up. But it It's pretty good, but it... Immediately fell in hype because I saw the jokes and the memes when it first came out, and then it kind of those just died out immediately, and I never heard anything about it again. Mm-hmm. So I don't know if it like goes down in quality or not, but I'm going to continue reading through. Like I want to get, I want to get the uh, Invincible books. I heard so they I heard they get really, really good. Dude, it's already like. Just it when gets, I think it's like it's a great series as it is, it's like they do something else, and I'm like, yes, yes. Have you watched any of it, Chase? No, oh, dude. dude. So I can't even say this. Just wa- like I've seen stuff, but I mean, I don't dude, care as so... much. You can spoil it. You guys can talk about it. I don't care. But... No, are you sure? Alan yeah, the Aliens. Okay. Alan the Alien might be my second time. favorite superhero. Are you sure, Chase? I'm sure. Go ahead. Okay. Spoilers for anybody. No, no, no! No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Spoilers for anybody who hasn't gotten to the first episode of season two. But shit gets, it just immediately goes to like multiverse level shit. Just immediately. Just like, whoa. Bro, okay. The, uh, Omni-Man going to the alien planet? I, I only have, I've only seen the first episode. So no, I, that was in the first season. Oh, what alien planet? Like where the aliens are attacking, like the oh yeah, and he just yeah. like flies over and fucks him up. Just they're trying little, to they're trying to yeah. power scale him with Homelander. Oh, Omni Man would eat Homelander. <laughs> Omni Man would is like it Homelander also coming to Mortal Kombat One. I'll be right yes. back. Yeah. Yes, we'll, we'll, t- we'll test that theory, <laughs> dude. I uh, think power scaling. No, dude. Omni Man would. Do you see how fast Omni Man can move? But I think Homelander can move. That that's the thing. I think Ho- Homelanders they've got very similar like qualities. Yes, Omni Man might be stronger just because he's a being from an entirely different planet with a longer lifespan, but. Homelander is also like a lab-grown human, so he doesn't even fall into the conventional constraints of human. Yeah, without. but I think he—I he, think he does have limitations. I think his vulnerability isn't as like as invulnerable. If that makes sense. I think Homelander, his entire weakness is just emotional himself. things. Himself. But, I don't think really physically um, there's. Do you except for Soldier Boy though? I don't even destroy like a whole planet. In a week. I do love Soldier Boy though. Jensen Ackles is an amazing actor. He's great. Um, who? Uh, da, 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 da. You didn't watch The Walking Dead, so you wouldn't know who he is. But apparently, a character from The Walking Dead. He was actually a pretty good bad guy, from what I heard. I didn't see up to that point. But um, I'm just not uh, a big zombie guy. I'm just not a big. I'm not big on like zombie stuff. That's the only thing. They don't even call them zombies. They call them walkers. Yeah, it's zombies though. Have you ever? I saw a video about this too. Have you guys like realized like zombie shows, movies, and stuff? They don't know. They don't really call them zombies like ever. Because they don't want to probably be like stuck in a genre, I guess. Yeah, yeah, but it's just. I don't know. It's just like just trying to call an apple anything but an apple. I'm dead. Uh, it's walking towards me. Oh, uh, yeah, definitely like not gonna call it the Z word. 
There's a walker. The Z word. <laughs> Can't call them zombies anymore. I mean, <laughs> like, is it prejudice? Like, it, these are things I want to know. Did zombies come out and they were offended? Uh, just like, hey guys, yeah, I, I, you can't community. call us that anymore. It's 2023. The, I don't want to separate it. The zombie subreddit all got together and they were started petitions. What's, what's with the stereotype that zombies, like, not only eat brains, but like the concept eat. that they'll be like brains? Like, are you a zombie sympathizer word. now? Like, what's yeah, going on? Like, no, it's just like it doesn't <laughs> make sense that you would make an undead being just obsessed with brains like they would have to understand the concept of why they were well because if you think about where it originated back in like the early like 1900s i probably think is when they started coming out with like zombie stuff it like probably made sense to them like these guys are essentially like just brain dead undead brought back to life don't have like a soul spirit conscience whatever so they'd be hungry for that like, these guys come back as, like, just, you know, corpses. So it's like, mm, I like, want to eat brain. No, no soul, no consciousness, but, like, you still know what a brain is? Like, you, I think body. it's more of, like, an instinct. It's almost like uh, intuition or whatever. It's like, like, it's like a you... non-conscious thing. They just see probably something moving, and then they migrate towards it and then the first thing that they know how to do is to eat whatever they see yeah like call of duty the walking dead sort of does zombies right in the sense of that like they're not really talking or anything they're just kind of like yeah yeah or in the walking dead like it, it shows them a lot of times that like the zombies are literally just they're just roaming they're just and then if you make too much noise or whatever like you're track like like an animal like like a predator, kind of like make noise and be like, oh. I wouldn't call it sir, like a zombie, a predator. Yeah, I mean that's just very serious, especially when we live in old America. <laughs> <laughs> Try that in a small town. The zombies Zombie. call me the predator. <laughs> I'd like to like to see a zombie come into my small town. <laughs> I'll, I'll pair up with old Dale. I'll hit him with my if won't be. <laughs> hey, Dale. There's some zombies in our small town. <laughs> Get Margaret. Tell her to bring uh, old Timmy along. We're, we're going to learn a thing or two about a thing or two. Small towns are such a weird thing. They always put so much emphasis on we're a small town. Like, okay. Because we man. fucking are, dude. Get out of here. <laughs> Never grew we're up a small in a town, small town. Nobody fucking cares. It was That's lonely. Yeah. There's nothing to do. You ever just walk outside and be like, oh, here's a road. Oh, there's the end of my town. That's all there is. One light. We'll One light. Next. They yeah. just installed it like last year too, I heard. The most thriving business is Subway. And the gas station. And the gas station. I don't see a problem with that. Well, it sounded like you did. So. Yeah. You just never experienced it, Adrian. <laughs> yeah. Grow up there your whole life, and I'm right. not even going to say bless you. Does it you. look like I have a problem with subway or gas stations? I'm literally wearing a come-and-go shirt. You think I have a problem with gas stations? I'm not, say I'm not saying you don't mm -hmm. have a problem with gas station. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying, like, growing up in a small town, you're not, like, thinking, oh, the gas station has to be popping right now. Right. Let's go hang out there. No. There's nothing to do. And you don't and have a driver's license. Imagination. Yeah, we, you're, you eat how do you think I'm here? And, skateboard. <laughs> and then they discriminate against you for skateboarding, I remember. Right. It was just yeah. rough. You didn't go shoot no BB guns at cows? Or... Yeah, yeah, I but did. The guy, and... But the guy growing corn in the suburbs is a cool guy. <laughs> knew a new guy. That was, he so... wanted to be country so bad and he lived in the suburbs of town he grew corn in his backyard and had this dually dodge parked out front get Sir, me out of here suburb. Get, get me, me out of here, here. <laughs> <laughs> that's like a just a glorified like housewife who gardens 
Just growing corn in your backyard. I can grow corn on my patio. What are you trying to say, Adrian? A housewife? Whoa. Yeah, what do you mean by this? 2023. Are you Matt Reifey right now? Matt Reif? Are you Reifey? When you think of somebody who gardens in their spare time. Are you rifling? Are you trifling? trifling. (laughs) Where's the hangout button? (laughs) Alright. You know what I've realized, though? There's a lot of people who, like, are so gung-ho on this. I'm country. I'm country. Like... How country are you? Do you just listen to country music and put on? How boots? many hate crimes have you done in the past weekend? <laughs> is what we need to start asking. Those are those are rookie numbers. Those are rookie numbers. How many marginalized groups have you been offensive to, dude? Like Not it's just. Enough. I think the people that are the coolest usually are the ones that actually do live the lifestyle, but like don't, like yeah. don't act like who don't like, like say I, they're dude, redneck. Yeah, like lately, man. Well. I've always loved horses. Legitimately, I've always loved horses. But now, Riding like, is fun. my girlfriend has two. And, like, on my weekends, like, no one no one suspects I do these things, like, while I'm at work, cutting hair, and these kind of things. But I love, like, camping and riding horses, camping. shooting guns. I love Ted all these camp. things. None of that. Fancy. You're starting to get a little twang in oh, your wait. voice when you were talking you said about she has, I love you said camping. she has two horses? I love Coors Light. The ass corn and freaking, I don't know, man. Beating people that are at what? Again, you said she has two horses? Yeah, man. Does she have a jacuzzi? (laughs) Can you believe we don't have a jacuzzi? (laughs) We have two horses, but we don't have a jacuzzi. (laughs) Jacuzzis are so nice. I get it. Honestly, Kim K, I'm on your side. Can you believe we don't have a jacuzzi? Can you believe we don't have a jacuzzi? I'd rather have a jacuzzi and not a pool. Hey. I'd rather have a horse than a jacuzzi. I'd rather have a pool. Well, I'd rather really? have a horse, actually. Okay. I would rather have not any of those, but a jacuzzi. Because you can lay in a pool, cool, but then when it's like cold out, you can't lay in a pool. But like, Well, in Colorado, a jacuzzi would, would be so horse. nice because it's so cold. And you're, horses you're are so intelligent. You are a jacuzzi guy. Horses are cool. If I could have a horse, I'd have a horse. I don't. They, no. They're intelligent. They smell fun. They're gentle for the most part. Thank you, Adrian, for having a heart. Adrian, uh, Chase over here wanted a jacuzzi and drinking IPAs. Well, I, you, you guys, I hate I'm, IPAs. You guys should know. I'm a big animal person. I love animals. I like animals. I, I don't want a horse. Then you're whack, dude. Yeah, you're whack, dude. I can have a sanctuary with random animals. All right, why why do you want to own a horse? They are wild creatures. They deserve to be wandering the the Dog free pastures. They, they, horses are like he is saying, intelligent and gentle, but they love the companionship. Mm-hmm. They really, honestly do. They love that. Do you and keep them in cages? Yeah. Horses are very not good during at the day. During the day, too. do you They're keep out. them in a gate? No, it's a stable. First off, you keep, oh, oh you keep them in a stable. They aren't roaming free. That okay, is not how they were intended to be used. Dogs were domesticated. What are you talking about? Like, dogs yeah, but were they never used to, they used to be oh, like oh, wolves. Oh, oh. They used to be oh, now wolves. We're the goal post. Now we're moving the goalpost. No, uh, yeah. horses didn't have a crazy evolutionary change over time. No, but they were domesticated. Dogs did. Like dogs were. Yeah, but dogs are now like they evolved to a point where they are dependent on us horses can live on their own yeah and they can also live as a companion crazy okay. i didn't want to get into it but first off it was more of a crazy. joke it was more of a joke pigeons. But no. horse haters pigeons. fucked up with pigeons as yeah. humans pigeons Chase, we domesticated the and then released <laughs> for the rest of this yeah, podcast we're gonna off. talk about how awesome horses are And the chase Did you guys know that though? Go that with we... his jacuzzi and his jacuzzi. his suburban his suburban cool white guy lifestyle. And your jacuzzi. Yeah. I don't have a jacuzzi. I do have a hot tub actually in the you don't have a jacuzzi? complex. Dan, you don't can you a... believe he doesn't have a jacuzzi? He, he doesn't have a jacuzzi. Okay. I don't yeah. have a horse don't... either. I'm sorry, guys. Well, Did you guys just... know that like we had domesticated pigeons, and then we had released pigeons after that? 
That's why pigeons are so weird. Birds it's like aren't John real. Wick. It's like John Wick. <laughs> what? What? The guy, the the pigeon guy in John Wick. He had like all that. the pigeons. He's like one of the. You don't remember him? He's a guy that it, from. Just now the it's, it's starting to set in that you're not talking about the movie John Wick. I am just. I am talking about the movie John Wick. <laughs> For real. The guy that plays. Oh. The guy from The Matrix. Also. Lawrence Fishburne's. Lawrence Fishburne. Thank uh, you. Thank you. Character. Yeah. I don't want to hear from you, Jacuzzi he was, Boy. He pops up in like the second movie, right? I only seen the first one. I never seen Or was the it the third one? Because oh, I know it's when John Wick everything. is on the. <laughs> When John was on the run, from, like, the, legitimately everyone trying everything. to kill him. Yes, dude. Thank okay, you. Okay, I know you're talking about. Yes, I know exactly you. what you're talking about. He <laughs> he actually guy. has a shit ton of pigeons, and he like he'll just yes. like, have them. Right. Yeah. I'm the crazy guy. Oh, he's a real person. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm I thought sorry. you were saying John Wick no. had pigeons. <laughs> I was confused no, for a second. No, the guy. I was like, John Wick had me. pigeons, and then I was like, is John Wick some dude that is on the internet that has pigeons? <laughs> Okay, we're at more than an hour. How are you guys feeling? Do you want to? Can I ask the question, or should we end it? What ask, question is ask it? Away. If it's about the, jacuzzis or no, um, it's about Pokemon. Sangria or I love sangria. I knew it. I just knew it. <laughs> I fucking oh, love sangria. Sangria is ah. bad memories. Yeah, he likes sipping on I sangria remember. and his jacuzzi, but. And his white that sounds his so white, much fun. His that white precipice. So... You remember when we used to drink sangria in our neighborhood? Oh, we get the big jug. Oh, we would get the cheap jug and we'd pass yeah, it's around like a bunch four dollars for a gallon cigarette. of wine. You think yeah. I'm spending money on my sangria? I think I pay ten. Maybe, Don't you shop but... at Trader yeah, Joe's? Your jacuzzi. They don't have some... sangria at Trader Joe's. They do, but you get no, everything else. Not there. at mine. No, they don't have mm. it there at mine. I pointed it out when I was there the other day. So, mm. they didn't have what, it at mine. What's, what's the question? What's the question? I slept okay. on Pokemon. Is what he slept doing. on Pokemon. What is your guys' favorite slept on Pokemon? I, I will go first because I have mine ready to go. Do you guys I remember can, Cast Form? Cast Form? Yeah, he switched with the weather. Yeah, he's all right. He's honestly my favorite Pokemon after Cyndaquil. I think cool. the concept of him changing with the weather is so cool. And then he like gets that plus bonus whatever status effect on whatever weather he's like turning into. You know what's a slept on Pokemon? From uh, Diamond. Uh, Driftblim and Driftbloom, the like balloon because looking pokemon you guys it's like pokemon a ghost that you just said same same but different well it doesn't like change with the weather it doesn't shit. but like the they look yeah. like they are they like, are like just floating cloud yeah. balloon pokemon well, drift i think in the second evolution i think that's drift balloon it's like a ghost dark so it's like really got like less things that are effective against it very mm -hmm. slept on Cast form is just a normal Pokemon, diamond. but he can learn other moves that are elemental. Probably floats. And while we're at it, Clefairy. Underrated. I'd say float soul. That move it learns, Metronome, where it can just use any move. It just pulls a random move out of the universe and does it. It's great. What were you saying, Ganon? Float soul. What's that? Oh, the 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 the, the like water type. Odd. Yeah, it's like an otter guy. It's like a like a it's like a Floatzel? cool looking water otter. Yeah, floatzel or honestly, I feel like they were very. Um, there's a lot of them. Like there's a very vast amount in uh, Generation Three, but Electric. I always like. I thought the design for him was cool. Like his evolution is like the blue one. I forgot what it's called. Yeah, uh, you know, come out where you. He only had one evolution. He was cool, though. I thought he was sweet looking. Yeah. Um, what was that? The ice dark type. Weevil. I remember Weevil. A little underrated. Not not one of the best, but it's a little more underrated. I saw a Pokemon guy saying Houndoom was underrated. I'm like, bro, what? Houndoom was the, the bee's knees. Good. He is underrated. I think all Gen 2 Pokemon are underrated. 
honestly. They kind of swept under. But Krogan. it's a super Krogan? small Pokédex is why. I like Krogan. Krogan. I like Krogan. Yeah, Krogan's cool. He's a little He's frog. Po po yeah, poison yeah. water type. But he was like one no, of Ash's Pokemon, Park. though. He's he's popular. He's not slept on. Popular. Did you see Floatzel? Yeah, I did. And honestly, not slept on. He was like one of the first water Pokemon that you would get in that uh, generation, and most people would carry him out the entire way. You didn't even know who it was. Let's see. Let's see what the internet. Well, once I saw him, I was like, oh, I've seen that guy, and I've used him many many of times he's sweet see cast form cast form is like hated almost because he's like usually not very like used strong. in a competitive sense yeah but he i feel like his just like ability is so cool i've got a article here from the gamer from august of last year the 18 most underrated pokemon of all time at 18 bell sprout yeah, I can see it. Well, I uh, seventeen about... Haunter. I don't think Haunter is really. Well, Haunter's most people, like... yeah, most people get like Ghastly and then obviously Haunter, but most people are going for the Gengar. I mean, yeah, but that's 16, that makes no sense. Du Dugong. Who? Dugong. I can actually see that from the first generation. Dugong, the seal. Oh yeah, I don't care. A little slept on. You know, you. Many people really ever mention Dugong. Fifteen Ursa Ring. The I, mean, I love Ursa Ring. I don't know. The bear that turns from Teddy Ursa. Yeah. yeah. Oh Ursa, yeah. yeah. Ursa Ring is so sick. Love him. Yeah, he's so cool. Reminds uh, me of the 14, room bear from Elden Ring. Oh okay. Fourteen Gastrodon. I don't know if you remember this one, the little slug looking one. Uh, uh, yeah. It's it's like a bug ground. I think. I don't like Something bugs. Like I'm not going to have bugs on my team. I don't like bugs. Uh -huh. uh, this one's from Sword and Shield. Uh, Alchemy. I don't know. Let me turn down the brain just a little bit. Oh, it's a normal fighting. I remember that guy. He was he, honestly. Oh, no. I was not thinking of the right one. I don't know that one. Yeah. Not sure. Seen him. Don't know that guy. Uh, 12. Barbarical. This one actually looks kind of cool, though. I'm not going to lie to you, Adrian. You hold it up, and I cannot tell what it is. <laughs> uh, I, I remember a Pokemon just... guy talking you know, about I it. Keep... Thank you. Yeah, please. I can literally Adrian. just pull the article. Yeah, just yeah. pull it up. God. Yeah. We live Why in are we future. over here fiddling with our wand Beans. right now? Oh. Both foods, different elements. All right, can you see it? Yes. Okay, let me get down to where we were. Yo, Chikorita uh, gosh, turns into... Alchemy. What's Chikorita turn into again? Here's here's Barbarical, whatever. I think it looks kind of cool, actually. It's like a barnacle, yeah. yeah. It's all right. 11, Chikorita. Chikorita is slept on. She is... I like her design, kind of. Not her full evolution. I don't know but... why, because like Chikorita was so involved with one of the, um, like seasons or whatever of, of Pokemon. It's like, uh, like Johto, the... yeah, and it was yeah. like the second season of Pokemon, and yeah, I, didn't I Ash have? It? No, yeah. Ash had. No, it wasn't uh, Ash. It was May. I think had it. Mm. I like Chikorita's final evolution. May. I think it's cool. I, I think it's just I like the second evolution of Chikorita's evolution. 10, Licky Licky. For obvious reasons. For Weird. obvious reasons. <laughs> For Weird. obvious reasons. It's like Mr. Mime. Uh, Chime Chow? Chime Chow? Slept on, honestly. It's all these floating Pokemon. Yeah, because they're whack. Uh, Maractus? <laughs> yeah, nobody cares. That's a Maractus. weird design. Um, Drampa? This is a dope not, Pokemon. It's a normal Drampa. dragon. Not Drampa. Normal dragon. He's in my lineup when I was doing the normal gym. He's in my lineup. Livani. Hmm. Never heard of this. I've never seen it. Yeah. Um, Whack. Porygon Z. Hmm. Porygon. Porygon, leave me alone. <laughs> <laughs> Rapidash. Fire. I can see that. Rapidash is so Rapidash. cool. 
It is slept on. I think yeah. Taurus. Tropius? I, I remember my first Tropius time playing Tropius. Diamond, I had a Tropius. Where's Tropius Tor Tuzzy. Serena? What the fuck is this? See, Serena? Number one is... Who the fuck is this? Who the fuck <laughs> is that? <laughs> Who the fuck is that? <laughs> let me find. Let me find another article. Oh, you know who's the most like hated Pokemon? Raichu. Yeah. Honestly. It sucks, dude. Because the face of the damn franchise is Pikachu, and guess what? Pikachu evolves into Raichu, but nobody wants Raichu. Everybody right. wants Pikachu. Um, from same CBR. thing with um, honestly, same thing with uh, Vigoroth and slacking. Mm -hmm. I'd use Vigoroth all day. So uh, here's CBR's ten most underrated, and the first one is Raichu. Look at that. I guess they think Raichu's underrated, which I guess Flygon. Yes. Flygon Fly is underrated. I love I Flygon. That. Agron? I don't see how Agron's. Yeah, Agron's he's kind of yeah. OP. <laughs> Everyone likes Agron. Agron's so cool. Yeah. Uh, Executor? Um, it's just goofy. It's kind of weird, um, change in the one other region where it like becomes like a fucking palm tree or whatever. Mm -hmm. Same thing with uh, Raikou or what was in this. Needle Queen and Needle King, honestly. Neo King Tom. I hated, yeah, but I hated them, honestly. I hated their, okay, I just Del Fox. hated All their right. concept. <laughs> I didn't like that evolution. Palkia? It's a legendary, was... what are you talking about? <laughs> what? You literally got it in one of the games. Bad like... take. Bad take. Mimikyu, I've heard about this one. Mimikyu yeah. sick. Like mimic Pikachu. There's Just like a whole side mission for Mimikyu. Superior? I've actually heard about this Pokemon. Mm -hmm. Is this a starter Pokemon? Actually... Yeah, it is. Is it? Yeah. Um, from Snivy, I think. Togekiss? Yeah. Hmm. I had that in my I Sword and Shield. I had, um, actually, I don't know why, but I had the, um, I don't even remember from, with the old DS's and stuff, the uh, action replay thing. You can plug in, you can have like all the cheats and stuff. So I had like unlimited master balls and limited rare candies. I had like a whole box full of like Toja kisses. I don't know why. I think I was trying to get a shiny, but I didn't feel like releasing them. I've never gotten a shiny. I didn't even know shinies were a thing until like a couple years ago. I didn't know until I was like, like I was basically like not playing Pokemon. Out of yeah, out of Pokemon, and I was like, "Well, what the fuck?" I probably honestly killed a shiny Pokemon and just never realized it. Mm -hmm. Do you want me to find any other articles that? Uh, no, I think we're good. I think it's time. I mean, Game Rant has one. I'm gonna look through it. Just what's the number one? Uh, let's see. Jolteon is the number eight. It's not bad. Nido Out of all the EV evolutions, which one is like the least favorite? Probably Jolteon. Probably. Oh, no, actually, Flareon, Flareon. This is an underrated Leafy Pokemon. The best, itself, but it, it says number one is the Alolan Ninetales, but I think Ninetales just itself is underrated. It's like a pseudo-legendary a little bit. Yeah, kind of. It evolves from Vulpix with a Firestone. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Very underrated. Actually. It's power. It's super oh, strong. Ideas. Yeah. Yeah, honestly, um, Pokemon are freaking cool. And you can be find us on cool. all... <laughs> go ahead. No, I was going to say, how are you guys feeling? <laughs> go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. You can find us on all streaming platforms. I'm talking Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and YouTube. You can also look at our Patreon for three dollars a month, strictly charity, um, and you can find content on there. You can find content everywhere. Also, check out our everywhere. social media. We are on everything except 
Facebook. <laughs> Everything. Um, and Twitter. Facebook. We don't have yeah, and Twitter. Right. Notice me, Senpai. Find us on everywhere. everything. Except those. So kind of everywhere, but kind of not. Um, bye. Bye. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, do you guys have anything you want to add? End us off with. Um. Ooh, ooh. Uh, I guess. Ooh. Um, I guess to let the people who listen know, we do make our jokes sometimes, and sometimes our jokes are, um, more on like maybe the darker side, but Where? in no way, shape, or form are we ever meaning to be offensive to people in Not any me. way, shape, I'm or form. Completely literal. They're... I'm completely all the time. <laughs> Whether it's their literal. religion, their their race, their gender, you know, we are not bigoted people. So, you know, if we make jokes in poor taste, please let us know. And that's something we can correct. But we are not that way. Yeah, we're always open for criticism. Um, I would say Unless we're it's all, stupid. We're all just shut up. Yeah, or you smell like ramen and beef and cheese. Oh, did Chase? Oh, Chase like stopped moving. I thought his video cut. I was frozen. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I mean, we're. I think we're very like. I was gonna say well spoken. That's not what I was trying to think of. We're both. We're all very like. Um, morally just accepting people, people morally just people uh, but yeah I mean we, we, this is technically considered a comedy podcast and there are maybe lines that we crossed mm -hmm. and that might uh, offend some people uh, we are absolutely are not trying to offend people but um, yeah if we if we cross a line let us know mm -hmm. we'll, we'll make a recreation of that no. South Park BP apology episode. Penis. I don't know if anyone... Fish sticks. I don't know if you've seen that chase. No. Kim K is a hot watch South Park. It's got it. They just make fun of BP apologizing. They have like the CEO and like all these different like oh like BP poses. oil spill. Yeah. We're sorry. Or he'll be like naked in front of a fireplace, kicking his legs up, and he's like, "We're sorry." We'll recreate that if we <laughs> offend anyone. That would be our apology video. I will not. Is that coffee? You will. Mm -mm. Agua. Must need oh. it. Eyes are dry. <laughs> mm -hmm. Always drink your water too, people. Always drink your water. I went all day without drinking water, and then I drank this whole bottle right now. I've gotten better with drinking water. Yeah, but did you, have, did you have anything else to add, Chase, before we get off topic? Oh, I'm good. Um, I accidentally... Oh, there's Gannon's girlfriend. Oh, hello. Hello. May Serino. <laughs> is that her name? Little, little honey bunches of oats. Am I right? Is that, is that, is that the full legal name? Yeah, honey bunches of oats. Mace. Oh, May Serino, <laughs> honey bunches of oats. All one word. <laughs> Does that include the last name? Yeah. So I'll be Mr. Honey Bunches. What is the of oats? Is the of oats the last last name? It's too? like uh like L before it's hyphenated. Thing. Yeah. So if you guys get married, you take in the last name then, right? Honey Bunches. Yeah, Mr. Honey yeah. Bunches. <laughs> We're very Man, modern. Honey of oats. <laughs> well, you should add your name at the end of it. Dash. Your dash last name. Last name. Not going to give it out, even though yeah. if you follow us on any of our social media platforms, yeah. our last names are in it. Well, I mean, we're already an hour, hour and a half Mine in it, so if you're trying to fix yeah. it now... Um, Oh, he's just gonna have conversation right at the end. Sorry. Yeah. Wow. wow. Jeez. Wow. It's like we don't even matter to you. Well, it's like we honestly aren't even here. Why would you do this to us? That's a guy who's in love. He literally just cannot take his eyes off of the prize. Right. Again, we are right here. We are trying to end it. While he says whatever. And I he was Emma Wise began. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> While he's over there being loved, uh, he, um, that is all the time we have for yet another episode of the Something Original Podcast. From all of us here, thank you. We love you. My name is Adrian. And I'm Chase. And I was and will always be Gannon. Peace. Deuce.
I, oh, I forgot. I, I stop it. <laughs> Thank you.